I am re-recording this video because I recorded this video, this whole video in the airport, but apparently the beginning part of the video, this my voice was muffled because I think my microphone is was sticking against my neck or my shirt. I want to make sure that I am recording this video, this part of the video, so the whole story will be full. So this video is about how we got our Japan visas as Philippine passport holders working in Dubai. We are residents here in Dubai and we wanted to go visit Japan and everything happened last March. Our planned visit was in April and Yay! So now you know that we finally reached Japan, but I want to share our experience, how we got our visas, and I hope you learn from this experience too. You get a tip or two. Backtrack a little bit. We, we wanted to visit Japan after 10 years. So we first visited Japan in 2014. When we applied in, for our visas in 2014, it was quite easy. It was quite uh, very straightforward. You send an email to Japan Consulate. They give you an appointment. You come to another appointment day and then you submit your documents and we got our visas a week later. So this time that we thought it was going to be easier because there is the Japan e-visa. So you just submit all your documents online. No need to go to Japanese Consulate and then ta-da, you get your visas online. Here's the catch. I actually checked the website 3rd of March. The reason we applied for the 3rd of March because we were waiting for my son's passport to be renewed and Irish first submitted his passport to, to get a Shenzhen visa passport. And But when we were trying to apply on the 3rd of March, according to the website, it was written, you will get your visas after 5 to 6 weeks. So that means 5 to 6 weeks if our flight was scheduled on the 6th of April, if we get it on the 5th week, we can. But if we get it on the 6th week, then we will be missing our flight. That was the dilemma. Should we apply for the EV session? Because actually, I sub we submitted all our documents online and we, were, we thought that it, we will be getting it earlier. There was a chance to get it earlier, but... When we called and inquired, uh, they said they cannot guarantee any earlier. They said if it's five to six weeks on the website, it's definitely five to six weeks. I also asked around. They said in Japan consulate that e-visa application is pretty much accurate. They say five to six weeks, there's no chance for you to get your passport sooner. So that's the part that I was discussing in the video that where my voice was muffled. So now let's continue to the airport. All right, so now we are in the airport once again, but this time flying back to Dubai after a long trip in the Philippines and in Japan. What was the last thing that I was discussing? So I said we we're going to miss our flights if we continue this by submit and continue with this processing of our e visa. So I decided to cancel the process uh, midway. And even though we said we'll go through an agency, they cannot do anything. If Japan Embassy or consulate says five to six weeks, it will be five to six weeks. I do not know any other way. I, I checked a couple of agencies, they cannot promise. So in the processing, it also depends on the Japanese consulate. And so I said, I'm going to definitely miss our trip for the family. So I already decided to move our Tokyo flights to 6 April and I am decided to move our Manila flights forward because in Manila, if you're a Filipino, you can apply for Japan visas in Manila because based on my research that time, there are a lot of people who got their visas three to five working days only. So I said, I'll take my chances because if this is possible there, there, I have more chances of getting the visa earlier in the Philippines. So I decided to move our flights forward. I went to Manila as soon as the agencies were open because we arrived during the whole week. As soon as the agencies were open, we submitted all our documents. So we arrived 28th of March on the Black Saturday. I'll check the date. So we arrived 8th March and the agencies were open on the 30th, which is a Black Saturday. All the embassies open on Monday, which is 1st April, we submitted because 
agencies they have quotas. They collect the passports, the applications, and then they submit to the embassy. We first went to Rally Tourist Agency and then asked them to we submitted our documents. Then they said we can only submit your documents on 2nd April, which is a Tuesday, because we have reached our quota. So we decided to pull out our applications and we went to Attic Tours. Both these agencies had like positive experiences of clients getting their visas within in three, two to three working days. So we submitted our requirements to Attic Tours on a Saturday. They said they submitted on a Monday. We got a call actually on Monday because they called us back and my daughter's passport needed a signature because they said 13 years old and above requires passport signature. So we had to quickly go back to Attic Tours, have my daughter sign the passport. They were submitted on a Tuesday. And then we got a call Thursday afternoon saying that our passports are ready for pick up. So our scheduled flight for Saturday 12 a.m. 6 April was on schedule. I was already like on the edge of my seat because I said should I reschedule our flights for again because we need to be back. We have a special event to cover. We have a golden wedding to cover on the 14th of April. That means we have to be back by 12. So I cannot move my our flights forward anymore because otherwise it will be too less of a time for our Japan trip. So that's how we apply for our Japan visa. So if you're thinking of should I apply in Dubai? Yes, you can, but make sure you check the lead times. And if you want to uh, have a faster process, yes, there's agencies in Manila that will process your visas faster as long as you submit all the requirements. And yeah, check the countries where you currently reside or check if you can do it in the country you are, you are a citizen of. Also, just side note that like, in Abu Dhabi, actually, currently, if you're a resident of Abu Dhabi, all you can show is just your residence, that you prove that you're a proof that you're resident in Abu Dhabi. You can still apply for your visas in person. No need, you don't need to get an appointment, and then you can get your visas the week after. In Dubai, you, there's they also have an in-person appointment. But which I also tried because this I said like I will also try to get this you know get our visas this way but it's quite impossible because my husband was going to travel to Cyprus so he will miss our appointment because this is a way that you can get a visa in Dubai you can send an email to the Japan consulate requesting an appointment before 10 a.m. so send an email from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you get a reply before 4 p.m. that you get an appointment the next day, you just go to the consulate the next day and bring all the requirements. But this is again like a hit or miss because I sent a couple of days for a request for appointment and I did not get a reply. So I said, anyways, I, we cannot go through this process because my husband then will miss his appointment and we, me and the kids will only get our visas if we go through this process. Based on what I read on some threads, some people took a couple of weeks continuously to email for an appointment and they were not able to get an appointment. Yeah. So I hope this vlog episode has helped you and see you all soon in Dubai. Keep watching and this series is about our Japan trip. So I'll share latest updates on our business in my next vlogs, in my next episode. And thank you so much for watching. Please share, please subscribe.